Now here's uh, the, uh, the tropical waves off of Africa. There's a new tropical wave coming off. Could this be Jose down the road? Certainly possible. It has a good shape to it. See if it holds together. If that occurs. Out in the uh, oops, out in the Atlantic here, you can see a few tropical waves. One right here that moved off, another one about to move off, and then one further out. Very active intertropical convergence zone. I think all three of these waves have a chance, especially this one, although I think this one and this one may kind of just be one system. If it does develop, this one may be a second system. Long way out, though. Well, another reason why I think it will strengthen is these sea surface temperatures get progressively warmer uh, as you approach the uh, southeast coast of the United States. I will say though if it takes a more western track and stays weaker and then starts to intensify we've got a big problem along the southeast coast of Florida because these waters are so darn hot if Irene doesn't get them then another system this year will uh, potentially a system that will come up sometime after Irene but that's uh, a different story but I mean these waters these hot boiling waters anywhere where I'm circling those are the areas where I fear that systems can really just explode this year before landfall. The uh, tropical wave in the Atlantic is uh, not showing all that much signs of developing, but it, there's basically two pieces, I think, this one and this one. And as I said yesterday, I thought they were going to merge, which it appears that they're doing. So we're only going to get one system out of this. I pointed that out yesterday because they're, when they're too close like this, typically they either one doesn't develop and just gets entrained to the other they just don't develop and I think this one will develop but only as one system down the road and then here's it so at this time but we'll watch it off the screen you can't see it a new Invest 96L I think that'll be a depression a storm and a hurricane before it gets towards the uh, islands here really to tell exactly what it'll do now here's uh, the model runs for 96L Invest 96L and uh, I think this is forming right now Look at this loop, folks. Do you see something here? Notice right here, okay? Now, unfortunately, with the program I use, it doesn't allow me to draw while it's in motion, but look at that area right there and watch it. You see that? Right in there, this spin right here, that's clearly evident, and if that is developing, then we likely have a tropical depression forming, and, uh, and that would be tropical depression 10, but right in there I think we have system forming uh, looking out there now there is Irene uh, strong tropical storm could still become a hurricane although I'm starting to doubt it will and if you looked at the latest loop you will see a western movement and you saw a bump north and that should continue and then accelerate off into the north Atlantic leaving behind I think uh, a rebuilding ridge which will push this system tropical depression 10 back to the west after uh, 120 hours, still too early to say just what it will do though. Uh, tropical depression 10, 5 p.m. first advisory, 14.3, 44.9, 35 miles an hour. So perched just below tropical storm, it should become tropical storm Jose. Uh, gusting to 45 miles an hour, northwest at 9, uh, 1008. Now everybody's been harping. I mean, this is the worst I've ever heard. Fishy, 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 it's moving, it's going to be a fish. I'm like, whoa. Uh, I wouldn't say that just yet. Uh, it still very well could. I mean, there's that northern track, but even on the northern track, it's still heading back west. That's because it has a ridge above it. See, the problem that I think we're seeing is that we haven't had many, we've had this persistent east coast trough in these past few hurricane seasons. So the setup with the ridge to the north and systems coming out of the deep tropics and turning west hasn't been the case. Uh, we saw Joyce die out back in 2000, but we saw Isaac go north. Uh, we saw Umberto go north because of a trough. We saw Fabian go north. So this general, the only real hurricanes you can compare this type of sub to is Andrew in 92, uh, Isabel in 03, and Francis in 04. But we've seen many times where you'll see systems develop in this region here and just shoot back west-northwest. Strengthen slowly, but not all that much. But once it turns back west, boy, we could uh, have some strengthening. Uh, uh, not like the Gulf, though. So, I mean, if you live along the East Coast, though, our system down here has plenty of warm water. Once it gets past the shear, the general environment, I would guess, would be pretty favorable uh, as uh, the system that's inhibiting it will move out of the way, and it should have uh, a chance to become a uh, hurricane 
uh, and even a significant hurricane as it moves on westward. So if you live in this area here, uh, let me change that color. If you live in this area here, I'd be uh, concerned. And uh, just something to watch because it, sh it should be somewhere between here and here, this box within five, six, seven days. So plenty of time to watch it over a week. And uh, yeah, de definitely uh, you want to keep tabs on that. The I name Storms retired this year, but does that mean Jay will be retired? We don't know yet. Uh, right there, could this still be Jose? Right now, no way Jose, but it could certainly happen down the road. There is a spin. Uh, it, who's going to win out? Is it going to be the sheer killing the spin, or is the spin going to make it out? Something tells me the spin will make it out, but will it have time to recover? Well, one thing I did notice... Back in uh, 1933 and back in the 30s and 40s, you had a lot of storms start in this area here. Now, they could have started from further back, but once they got to this area here and they turned back west, uh, I've seen storms in the past that have gone from tropical depressions here to Category 4 hurricanes here. So just because you're going well by here, it's got no time left, that's not the case at all. And we saw Andrew, a tropical storm here, Category 5 hurricane here. Not saying that this one's going to do it, it's just that it would have time to strengthen plenty if it wanted to. Uh, the BAM would be most on, I think, heading up this way, maybe a little bit further north. Right now, if, the, if there was a projected path of this track, it would be somewhere in here with this right in the middle so if you live in the United States again I don't know why everybody went nuts with this being thing being a fish when really things pointed at it staying weaker and moving more west um, and then the Canadian uh, same thing you have the system in here heading towards Florida so with a lot of time to watch it and uh, we'll see what happens every day in the tropics but tonight on the edge of the screen there's the edge of tropical storm Jose here's a, a tropical wave that was once associated at least if not part of TD-10. We'll watch that as it moves this direction. Now we also have, once again, was, was once associated with Tropical Depression 10. Uh, former TD-10, it came up here and then died out and tried to come back and then died out. And then tried to come back but never had a circulation. It's been hanging here. Looks like it's finally going to try and get its act together. Conditions not all that favorable just yet. I mean, they're favorite. They're not terribly unfavorable, but they're not extremely favorable so kind of neutral if you will but as it moves on towards the Straits or the Keys or South Florida and especially the Gulf of Mexico things could get rather favorable okay and you can see on the visible that things are popping up there on the fair bet now why am I concerned with this before we really get to all the models one reason I am majorly concerned with this is that if you look at the shear right now it's not all that unfavorable so I don't think it'll have a hard time getting going once it heads towards Florida and over time things should be favorable in the Gulf I would guess and you can see how favorable they are near uh, uh, tropical storm there however what I'm really worried about is the water temperatures look at this oh my goodness I I, I was amazed when I saw this I mean it amazed me after all this season has shown the systems over these waters now keep in mind these waters are very warm but as it heads up they're progressively more warmer and I'm telling you right now this year not saying that this system will do it but if we have a hurricane that has an inner core structure an eye wall if it's up towards 85 90 100 miles an hour and it is and if it's in a favorable environment for strengthening it doesn't have to be ideal if it's just favorable there's no shear it could strengthen and it crosses these water temperatures before hitting land we got a big problem because we could have a rapidly deepening tropical cyclone and that would be my main fear with uh, our system here is that it could get in the Gulf and pull a Frederick you remember Frederick was sheared it never came it never made it and then finally got out and just blew up to a category 4 hurricane uh, category 3 category 4 hurricane so that would be my main concern I'm not saying that's gonna happen it just be my main concern with the system Hey folks, Mike Naso here from Radio NHCWX. We have an extraordinary hurricane off the coast of Louisiana. This is Hurricane Katrina. And Hurricane Katrina has winds of 160 miles per hour, making it a Category 5 hurricane. And there is the Louisiana coast where my finger is. And there is the eye of the hurricane on a rendezvous with southeast Louisiana or western Mississippi and it could be a category 5 hurricane near the New Orleans area one of the worst case scenarios that we have feared for quite a long time and you can see there that the eye has been moving pretty steadily towards the northwest anticipated a turn to the north 
which should bring it right over the city. So Hurricane Katrina is going to be one for the record books.